hey guys welcome back to automation elon in this video i am going to talk about one more new feature on github which is related to pull request so in this video i am going to explain how we can comment on an individual file in pull request on github to explain this let me refer one of the repository on github git reset and uh, if i'll go to pull request here i have one pull request which is open let's go into this move to file changed tab where we can see the changes so as a part of this pull request these are the five lines newly added lines which i need to review so so far how the process was like if you want to comment on individual line then you can select that particular line and click on this plus option for example here i want to highlight like the spelling of jenkins is not correct so maybe i can give correct the spell correct the spell and start review so this particular review comment is for this particular line line number 7 and uh, if i want to give a comment for more than one line then i can drag it i can select three lines i'll just i need to click on plus and drag it further so this review comment will be for line number 4 to 6 maybe i'll just give sample review comment so i have given two review comments so far one is for line number 7 where i am saying correct the spell and i have selected more than one line these three lines below that we can see the review comment applicable for these three lines so this was the current feature that we were getting we were using on github for pull request but let's say you are in a situation where you have some question about the file itself maybe you want to question like why this file is required or there are many changes where we do not update the content let's say someone just renamed this file then we will not see any content over here we'll just see like so and so file like abc.txt is renamed to abc new.txt something like this and if you have a question like why you have renamed this file then for this particular use case so github has released new feature like now we can comment on the file itself so if you have any such questions like why we need this file or why you have renamed this file such kind of questions which is applicable at file level then what we need to do is we can refer the file and over here we have one comment option comment on this file so using this icon i can open the comment box which will be applicable at the file level not to individual line over here which we have understood earlier so using this option i can put my comment at the file level for example i am saying why are we renaming this file for example and i can submit my comment so this is now applicable at the file level i'm done with my review now make sure that comment is selected and submit review so i have submitted my review comment and uh, under conversation tab you can see for abc.txt for line number 7 this review comment is applicable and from line 4 to 6 this is applicable and at the file level abc.txt level we have this comment so this is not applicable at any line but it is at the file level let's take rename file example so go to project we'll rename one file and then we'll see how we can use this feature so let's say i have one sample.txt file and uh, i can edit this where i can rename sample new.txt 
and now if I go to pull request file changed to and uh, for abc.txt we are seeing the previous comment this comment is at the file level and these are the comment which are applicable at individual line or lines so this file is already reviewed abc.txt we don't need to review it again but here i have one new file here we have sample.txt renamed to sample new.txt file renamed without changes so here we don't have any line change or any content right here only the file name got changed and i have a question on this like why this was renamed what was the use case or i know if we rename this file then it will impact somewhere else then i can use this feature to comment on this same why we need to rename this as a reviewer i'm curious to know why are we why are we renaming this file so this is the use case and similarly if i'll delete sample.txt or any other file then here i'll just see the name of the file and we'll see like this file is deleted then also we will not see any content over here so this is the very useful feature for those use cases as i mentioned earlier with this capability we can now comment on a deleted file or binary file or any renamed file like i explained earlier so in such kind of use cases we don't see any line number but we just see like this file is deleted if your pull request has any detail about binary file then also we can not see any line number or so we just see the file and in case of renamed file also we just see like this file is renamed to this these are the few use cases where reviewer need to comment at the file level and your review comment would not be attached to any individual or specific line so guys this was all about this feature and this is very useful feature you can use if you are one of the reviewer on your project that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new today from this video please reach out to me if you have any doubts or any questions please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features thank you for running this one thank you